Here the rocks, there are no uh, When we were kids, we used to go down and sit in them and blow there uh, where the horses there are. Blow down where the horses was a little river and it's drying up now. We used to go in there paddling. It's the ones that I see. Just stick it up. The old grave headstones from a long time ago. The little grave out at the back of the church. See the wall? And all the years that people have been going out, the rocks. See, see the trees. Little, you know, and the hedging. You will not see it from the rocks. And I'll bring it down and show you. See, a long time ago, I think the, see the English, it was the ban Irish from practicing the religion and you have these small little churches to see the height from so small. That's the altar, I'll go for a little look. And you have the little masses out here. And only a couple of years ago, I was told that there was somebody actually got, got married out here. I don't know how true it is, but, but this is some amazing history here. I see, oh look, I can see the door because I was going climbing here. But yeah, these are secret churches. They were hidden away off the main road, surrounded by hedgings, as you can see. So no one could stop them from practicing their religion. And I'm, this is the hot, full height of the wall, and it's just above my belly button. It tells you how small the church is, and it was that size for a good reason. Uh, I'll have this duck down. Um, So there, and then old breath, and this is the altar here. Yeah? Some amazing history, I don't think it. And about not even five minutes drive from Knocknaney. That's the truth. Up the road, and it's across the altar. So the three switch and and with the if I could show you. But my head could not to get, get this. So small it is. So it's some mystery. What people just have to do with the packs of their feet. When a different people used to rule this country. So appreciate small things that you've been able to go to your church because years ago you couldn't, mean, you couldn't even do that much. And I'm sorry if I'm out of breath because I left them so much walking there. <laughs>
I'll be lucky if the farmer doesn't shoot me in the house. This is strictly private property. As you can see there, that's the end of what's known as Saga Hill. Then you come around here. It's the second part of the journey. I went to the place called All oh, Since Well. But the last place there that I visited, Silobret, did a lot of walking today. I've been talking to the farmer and he said, it's strictly private and people aren't meant to be going up there. But he, he said I could go there because I told him about my parents used to go there. And he told me the place is originally called Temple O'Cleany. So that church is known as Temple O'Cleany. Right. <laughs> right, I won't say too much about this place, but uh, what I will say is Frank O'Flaherty, you might know him as the board man inside the uh, inside, uh, town square, feeding the pigeons. He used to look after this place for a long, long time. I mean, the long time before, nearly every second day. Bring out chairs, lighten the candles, and what have you got to say for yourself? But, uh, yeah, Frank O'Flaherty. Well, Frank said that he's going to have a chat with me soon on tape when he's feeding pigeons about all saints well so I'll just show you around it and Frank then can on my next video I can show you and tell you what the experience of it right now this is amazing and if you come away on night it'd be glowing the old tradition is that couples just going here like my grandparents just going here and they'd find a stone or something whatever and what you do is they used to see the warning put them in the three crosses and yeah so right 1761 it's been here since that's truly an amazing place I'm not about getting stamped over and the work and then croning there is deep in there for a long time. I don't know what that name has got to do with this place, but it's known as All Saints Well. And this, just, this place used to be a matter sense of Franco Flattery. We'll go in there and we'll have a look. And there's no candles and they don't have a light. What do I? I don't know. I don't, but it's all the same. That's the well. That's the well. And they're all the same. And there's little seats and... It's truly amazing place and the walls could speak. It's an amazing place. And it's just off the main road again and surrounded by literally a hedging ditch. But at night, when I walk through the field and come around towards it, the closer you get to it, you'll see a glow because the amount of candles that be lit inside there. It's truly amazing place. It's nice to relax. And I think I'm going to get creased by them clothes on the way out. I've looked around watching them waiting on me.